welcome to a very special auto guide comparison between the Mazda 2 and the Mazda 2 B Spec race car. So Dave, as our hired hot shoe here, tell me a little bit about this racing machine. Well, as you can see, it's a very compact and a very affordable race car. It's designed to compete in the SCCA B-Spec class, which is for subcompact or B-class vehicles like this. It's got a very limited number of modifications to keep the cost down, so you just go out there and you get to trade paint with other cars in its class, like the Honda Fit, the Ford Fiesta, or the Fiat 500. Now, I could tell what's obviously different about this car. I mean, it's got a stripped out interior and a roll cage, and of course, a lot of go fast decals. But Dave, tell me, what really makes this a race car? Well, Colm, I know you need as many stickers as you can to go fast, but this car also has upgraded shocks, stiffer springs, an adjustable rear sway bar, and they've also upgraded the brake pads, and of course, it's got these Continental racing slicks. So what do we have under the hood here? I mean, this is a race car. We have a big modified engine here, maybe a power plant from the Mazda Speed 3. What's it make, like 300 horsepower? Well, not quite so much, Colm. It's actually the stock 1.5 liter engine. It makes 100 horsepower. All they've done to it is delete the AC, add an air filter, plus they put a cat-back exhaust on it to make it sound fast, even if it isn't. So I can't say I'm not impressed, but I'm also skeptical. So to see if a bunch of bolt-ons can transform an Econo box into a race car, let's hit the track. It didn't even take one lap, and I am convinced this is a real race car. In fact, I had a really good idea the second I left the pits. You immediately can hear just how loud it is, and you get this adrenaline pumping in you, and the really stiff suspension you can feel right away as well. And before I even hit the first corner, as soon as you press on those brakes, they are really impressive. Those high performance pads just haul this car down from speed. I'm also seriously impressed about how much you can just pitch this car into a corner. The tires give it so much grip, it's just amazing. And you can really just toss it in a corner, almost drifting it right sideways. And you're never worried about the consequences because again, it only makes 100 horsepower and it's front wheel drive. So you can just kind of pull yourself in a corner, no problem. Because of all the grip in the corners, I can really keep the speeds up. And whereas in the stock car, you're just trying so hard not to lose any of that momentum. In this car, you don't have to. I'm also learning a lot about these really grippy race tires. They communicate a lot to you about the car. The tires grip so well, they're trying to grip even when you're putting in too much to the car and you need to take it a little bit easier. And it just lets you know, back off a little bit and you'll actually get a lot more performance out of this 100 horsepower. Obviously being equipped with uh, all the safety gear, you know, the roll bar, these racing bucket seats and the harnesses, you really feel a lot more connected to the car. You know, you don't have to uh, fight to stay in your seat the way you do in the stock car, so you're, you're able to focus a lot more on, on you know, steering precision and braking precision. You just feel a lot more tied into the car, and that's definitely you know, part of that race car experience that this little V-Spec car gives you. This type of race car is also a really great way to learn how to go fast, because you're not going fast enough in a straight line to really get yourself in a lot of trouble. So instead you can focus on really cutting down your braking distances and really maximizing your corner speeds. And if you're into road racing, that's really what it's all about. I don't want to mislead you too and, and have you think that this car is really slow because the truth is with these tires and with this suspension package, my lap times around here are, are comparable to cars with twice the power and that's because we've got so much cornering grip and because this car is really light, it, it can't weigh more than about 2,100 pounds. One of the other cool things about this V-Spec car is that you still feel like you're driving a Mazda 2. You know, this isn't a, a race car from the ground up. This is a production car with a you know, very affordable number of basic modifications made to it. So driving the stock car 
versus driving this, they really feel very much the same. It's just that everything is turned up in this car a notch, you know, it's turn-in response is sharper, the grip level's higher, the brakes have more power, but it still feels like the same car. And that, I think, really says a lot about how good the, the stock Mazda 2 really is. Now, we didn't just come here to have fun, we also took lap times. Dave, would you do us the honors? Well, Colin, would you believe that the stock Mazda 2 was actually faster than the B-Spec car? No. Oh, okay. You're smarter than I thought. It's true, the B-Spec car was actually a lot faster. Five seconds, in fact. And to put that in, into perspective, if you can imagine a car going down in the front straight at, say, 60 miles per hour, that five seconds is a huge amount of space. And you get all that extra performance for just $2,600 in parts. Now, that's, of course, on top of safety equipment, plus the sub-$15,000 price of the base Mazda 2. For Mazda, their Zoom Zoom slogan really is more than just words. They've taken their most affordable car and transformed it into a really fun little race car. And it's also worth mentioning that they've also been one of the founders of the B-Spec series. There's an old saying that it's a lot more fun to drive a slow car fast than a fast car slow. And that's true even with the standard street going Mazda 2. The B-Spec car, however, really takes it up a notch. Or five. That's right, folks. We're being held up by a Grand Sport C6 Corvette, and we're in a B-Spec Mazda 2. We're getting, the, we're getting the signal. Here we go. Feel the power. Oh, yeah, baby. Woo! 